Hello there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fandom Fights. Uh, we got an exciting one for you today. We got Jeremy Potters taking on Cody Newberry. Uh, these players have played once before this season in matches in fandom. I was there for both of them. Um, I think I was sick for one of them. And uh, Cody played Mike, right? Is that what happened? That was fun. Cody won that match. It was good. Jeremy played someone else. Nazario. Uh, Nazario, that was also a good match. The season opener, yes, of course. How could I forget? Uh, so good matches this season. Players who know things. Nick, thoughts? I wore my be kind shirt because people have been angry in the chat. So we'll see how that goes. That's true. I've seen it with my own eyeballs. Uh, so remember, be kind. Let's get into it, starting with the promos. Hey, man. Hey, Harry, play Cody. You brought your hat. Well, guess what? I got my hat, too. You know what? Great people wear top hats. Absolutely. Abraham Lincoln, great American, free to slaves, wore a top hat. So if you be mean to people who wear top hats, you must like slavery. Good luck. Um. So this is a win-win because I like Jeremy before all that shit happened. Um, <laughs> If you've ever watched Seinfeld, that person next to him is a lot like Newman from that show for me, uh, wearing me thin. But here's the thing. If Jeremy wins, he's a better player. He probably deserves to go on. I would love to see him contend for a belt this year. Me, I just hope to take another progression forward in my previous match and continue to improve. But I wouldn't hate if this ended like the play that Lincoln saw. So let's play. Let's play. <laughs> Uh, what play is he referring to? Tim, I was going to say, um, famous top hat where uh, John Wilkes Booth, oh. <laughs> famous for assassinating uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Nick, round number one. How's it going to work? <laughs> round number one's going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player's going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, we will say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. Should any individual player get all 10 questions correct? In round number one, they will receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number one? Can we lower the number of questions so it's possible to get a perfect round for myself? We, I don't think we, that's here. Let's yeah. see where we're at around like four. Mm. <laughs> All right, Nick, kick it off. <laughs> nice. First question comes in the category of American spies. Shit. What is the name of the main villain who Jack kills on a boat in Patriot Games? And we are looking for the first or last name, or both. But definitely at least one. At least one? Is that what you said? Yeah, at least. Yeah. Um, this is so not right, but I'm going to write it down. Okay, we'll see. Five. That perfect four. four three, two, no, okay. one. Pens down. We're going to start with Cody. I put Eddie, but that's not right. No. And uh, Jeremy. You can leave him. Is his last name O'Shea? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that seems offensive. No. <laughs> offensive to Irish people. Uh, the answer was Sean. Sean Miller. Uh, so. Because you played by Sean. Yeah. Uh, your next question is coming in the category of sci-fi icons. Name one of the two things that the Terminator steals from the bar owner after he tries to stop the Terminator from stealing a motorcycle in T2 Judgment Day. Um, your thoughts on <coughs> Terminator as a uh, entity? Um, it's happening now. That's for sure. Yeah, um, 
I had a joke, but I don't want to say it. There's a, no five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Jeremy, let's go to you. Set sunglasses. And Cody. I put his gun. Uh, his gun, uh, sunglasses. I think we could accept both those, Nick. So uh, that is one to one. Nick, what's next? Next question comes in the category of mixed bag. Whoa. Question is, which actor appears in the DC films, The Losers, Watchmen, and Jonah Hex? My water is empty. Could you, could you feel it? Thank you. Um, other than me, who's the biggest loser you know? Tim? <laughs> I just wrote an article titled The Biggest Losers. So wait. Or actually, by now, it'll be out. So yeah. you can go read that. Yeah. Four. There's 15 of them. One. Pens down. Let's go to Cody. So not right. Chris Evans? And uh, Jeremy? So Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is correct. So two to one in favor of Jeremy. Your next question is in the category of the worlds of DC. Who is the only member of the Justice Society to die in Black Adam? Do you know any Adams? Oh, yeah. What's your follow-up question, Tim? What? No, I... I thought I was going to say, yeah, and then you were going to say, do you know any black Adams? And then Jeremy was going to say, Tim, I'm wearing a top hat. Oh, no. Five, four, three, two, one. Depends down. My goodness. Uh, that was for the sophisticated people of fandom fights. Uh, let's go to Jeremy. You're lucky I couldn't find my monocle. Dr. Fate. And Cody. Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate is correct. Three to two, what's next? Your next question comes in the category of the MCU. In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, it is revealed that Gamora has joined what group? I remember when I was once asked to join a group. Uh, it was called The Fellowship. Mm. And it was basically just a circle jerk uh, for some guy. Apologies for that. His name See, was, but mine was called. Five. I was asked to do that. If I could go back in time, I'd switch the person. We'd follow. What? Pens down. Let's go to uh, Cody. This is going to be really bad. I put the Ravengers, but I. I'm Ravengers. sorry, Ravengers. And uh, Jeremy. The Ravagers. Uh, the Ravagers is correct. So okay. Cody, really close on that one, uh, but it is four to two in favor of Jeremy. As we get to your next question, it's going to be in the category of epic adventures. Who drives the getaway car from Indy's meeting where he is poisoned at the beginning of Temple of Doom? Um, oh, I am getting a message from one Nazario Montenegro. I have no idea, LOL, at Tim Bracala. Oh, this is in a chat. How often do you actually read messages from one Nazario Montenegro? Not often. Or I read them and then I don't respond. Five. Four. He does often have conversations Two. with himself. One <laughs> pens down. Let's go to Jeremy. Short round. And Cody. Short round. Short round is correct. Five no to for three. One. What's next? Next question comes in the category of YA. Which YA film features a character injuring their hand after punching someone else in the face? Um, so somebody uh, drafted the category of actors and actresses, mm. and their opponent was then asking if they could also draft that category. And I said, no. I would say no. Yeah, that's... No. It's gone. Like, I, pick, I pick Tom Brady. Can I also pick Tom Brady? <laughs> Let's go to Cody. Breaking Dawn Part 1. And uh, Jeremy. I said Divergent. Cody Closer. The answer is Eclipse. Eclipse. It's oh, the imprinting God. on the child thing, right? Uh, is that when Bella punches Jacob? 
Oh, that no. time she okay. has a hand that wouldn't get hurt, but uh, earlier. <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay, yeah. we're good. Your uh, next question. It's going to come in the category of creature features. Or I'm, yes, creature features. No. Nope. It doesn't matter. I was going to just roll. Oh, yeah. Up. Creature features. What? Yeah, creature features. <laughs> Name one of the two actors who voice Bebop and Rocksteady in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. Oh, I, you just I realized that I could have gone back, but then I would have spoiled the category, so I just went with this one. Oh, that's fair. I mean, it, yeah, but the, my thing is, you stumbled and showed your hand, so I was like, Tim, you're stumbling again. But then you were like, No, and now I realize you had a legit. Yeah, you saw what I was going for, but yeah, we all again. I stumble at least once every match, uh, but luckily, um, I have not fallen yet this match, but uh, the night is young. Five, four, three, Fall. two, one. Pens down, like, completely fall. I got your uh, Yeah, uh, let's go to uh, Jeremy. I said Seamus, the wrestler, not the wizard. And uh, Cody. I put another wrestler, Kevin Nash. Uh, both are incorrect. We were looking for Seth Rogen and John Cena. That wrestler. Or one of those. We guys. did get, there was a run. I had no clue. I said yes. it from the other one. Yeah. The other yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Nick. Uh, what's next? Uh, your penultimate question comes in the category of James Bond. Which Daniel Craig Bond girl accidentally shot him? Um. A lot of wrestlers that voice uh, that or well, voice or play that uh, character. Do you need first and last name or like no nope. one or the other or both? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything about wrestling. My, my name is not Christian Harloff. I don't know. You you did do a a pro a promo video once where you were like, "Yo, hey, he's here. closer than everybody else on this yep. call." One of the pens down. Hey, Spider. Uh, let's go to uh, Cody. Money Penny? And uh, Jeremy. I also said Money Penny. Money Penny is correct. So six to four. Is that what you have, Nick? Yeah. All right. Your final question in this round is going to come in the category of Star Trek. And your question is What position aboard the Enterprise does Spock retake once he joins the group? In Star Trek, the motion picture. Uh, we've talked about this before, but I do feel uh, like we should start calling movies the movie or the motion picture again. Like the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, we, there's already been one of those. I know. So I'm saying just like like uh, more movies where the subtitle is just the movie. Dune Part 2 the movie yeah dune colon part two colon the movie five gotcha three here that movie change cinema one pens down uh let's go to jeremy Uh, science officer and cody put captain because i have no Uh, idea science officer is correct so at the end of round number one jeremy's in the lead seven to four nick that's what i have tim all right uh anything can happen as we get into round number two how's it gonna work nick Round number two is going to work like this. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel if they like what they spin the first time they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you like to check on multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one. Be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. New categories on the wheel today are Criminal Underworld, YA, Mixed Bag, Marvel, Disney Animation, Worlds of DC, DreamWorks, and American Spy, Go Tim. All right, so uh, Jeremy, you're in the lead. Do you want to spin first or defer? What do you think? Uh, you're only up by three, so uh, it really depends on how confident you feel about you know keeping you know keeping the momentum going, or if you want to sit back and you know you know see what he can do. Lessen the momentum. Yeah, I think I'll let him spin. Also, I'm getting glitter all over myself, so say goodbye to the bit. <laughs> okay, so we will bring in Brittany. This will be the spin for Cody. Did you know the science officer question, Brittany? 
It lands on Spinner's Choice. There you go. Um, and uh, yes, Brittany, you're the science officer. Yeah, Brittany definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shut up. I'm just <laughs> guessing. Um, so I have a weird strategy. Okay. I just want to take Criminal Underworld. I don't really care how well I do and if he beats the shit out of me and steals, but I've watched all the movies at this point, so I'd rather just test myself to see how far off I am on this. I mean, sure. That, yeah, do it. Like, if he gets... I'll go multiple. I won't I yeah. won't risk it unless I'm confident. Oh, yeah, no. Hell, but you just watch them all anyway. Yeah, I, I expect him to beat me, and I would rather take the one strength he actually has on the wheel and let him have something else from Russ. So yeah. I'm going to take Criminal Underworld and see what the hell happens here. Okay. All right. Uh, Nick, will you please go ahead and read Mr. Newberry his questions in Criminal Underworld? I totally Underworld. deserve this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly, yeah, Cody, you play dirty. your questions in the category of criminal underworld. Yes. Your first question. A man is tortured by having a rat digging into his stomach in which Fast and Furious film? Too Fast, Too Furious. That's correct for two points. <clears throat> your second question. Who plays Deckard Shaw's sister Hattie in Hobbs and Shaw? Vanessa Kirby. That's correct for two points. And the lead. Your third question. <clears throat> In John Wick Chapter 2, what is the name of the object that Santino presents to John, forcing him to complete his blood oath? Uh, the marker. That's correct for two points. Cody, your penultimate question. In Ocean's 12, which member of Linus's family gets the crew out of jail? His father. It is incorrect, Jeremy. <sighs> chance for the two point steal. His mother. Mother is correct for the two points. That's one or the other. I forgot. <clears throat> All right, Cody, your final question in Criminal Underworld. In The Fast and the Furious, what is Brian O'Connor's fake last name he uses while undercover? Multiple choice. Right, your multiple choice options are is it A Lang, B Orion, C Whiting, or D Spilner? Can I hear those one more time? You can. Your options again are A Lang, B Orion, C Whiting, or D Spilner. A. A is incorrect, Jeremy. Chance for the one point seal. Your options again are A Lang, B Orion, C Whiting, or D Spilner. Mm -hmm. He isn't dog. Oh, D. sorry, I did not hear you at all. Yeah, D is correct for the one point steal. All right, so Cody gets his total up to 10, but with the steals, Jeremy is also at 10. Is that what you have? That's what I have, Tim. All right, so we'll bring back the wheel and Will uh, for Jeremy spin. Here we go. Good job on those steals, buddy. Thanks. It lands on Yah. We did talk about this. Yeah, and. I have been working on it very, very hard, but it is still like at the bottom of the list. So anything else will be fine. We're we're, ti we're tied, so go ahead and do what you want yeah. to. Yep, just spin. Okay. I assume bottom of the list means I'm spinning again. So. <laughs> All right, it lands on All Disney right. Animation. All right, Jeremy, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of Disney Animation. Are you ready? Which Disney animated film features an event called a salmon run? Brother Bear. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Who voices head police chief Bogo in Zootopia? Idris Elba. That is correct for two points. Your third question. In The Little Mermaid, what specific type of animals originally convince Ariel to see Ursula? Mm. 
steals. That is correct for two points. Your penultimate question. What task does Mulan complete in training camp that no one else could, which impresses Captain Shang in Mulan? Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, balancing on a wire? B, climbing a pole? C, finding enemy dummies in a field? Or D, running up a mountain with buckets of water? I'll say D as in dog. That is incorrect. Cody, chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, balancing on a wire? B, climbing up a pole? C, finding enemy dummies in a field? Or D, running up a mountain with buckets of water? B. B is correct for one point. And Jeremy, your final question in Disney Animation. In Tangled, during the final confrontation with Mother Gothel, what breaks in the tower, which Flynn then uses a piece of to cut Rapunzel's hair? A mirror? That is correct for two more points. So, Nick, at the end of round number two, I have Jeremy in the lead with 18, but with the steals, Cody is at 11. Is that what you have? Yeah, that's what I have, Tim. All right, let's get into round number three. How's it going to work? Round number three is going to work like this. It is the betting round. We have five more questions of the realm of Panda Bites. Once the players see the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number three? All right, go to. All right, uh, the first category you can bet points on is horror icons. Let's get bets, starting with Jeremy. Goose egg. And Cody. I'm going to let Tim and Nick have an early night, too. Uh, well, I have another match after this. Uh, so, wow. uh, your question oh, in the category of horror icons is, which Halloween film features a boy getting hit by a car and dying in the ensuing explosion? If Cody hits this, we will move on. If Cody misses this, the game is over. Very good, Tim. Uh, thanks. What'd you have for dinner? Um, I made some chicken, cut it up in little nugget-sized pieces, rolled it in some breadcrumbs, baked it, baked some potatoes, some Brussels sprouts with a little bacon. Nice. Maggie got me Culver's. Five. Four. Repeat the question. All right, that is Cody's first repeat. Which Halloween film features a boy getting hit by a car and dying in the ensuing explosion? That's very good pronunciation. Thank you. A, boy. a car. Um, she didn't know what I wanted on the burger, though, so she just got bacon and ketchup. Those are Which was, good. It was good. It was delicious, but like I cheese? could use lettuce. Oh, yes, cheese. Yes. I'm going to use another repeat because I'm crazy. All right. That is Cody's second repeat. Which Halloween film features a boy getting hit by a car and dying in the ensuing explosion? Um, no, it was good. It just like I would I could have done some like lettuce or onion, maybe. But I just appreciated the the thought. Makes sense. That's what she got. Something you, healthy. No, she got a corn dog. <laughs> I you could have given me. She looked at Ellie while she was eating it and said, One day you will know the joys of corn. Five. You could have given me a hundred guesses, and I never would have got there. <laughs> One pens out, I know. Uh, let's go to Jeremy. I said Halloween three, season of the witch, and Cody. I think this is it, but I put Halloween ends matchup. And your winner, Jeremy Potter's. The answer was Halloween two, the original Halloween two. Um, that one kid that she likes, Ben Tramer. Awesome. Yeah, that's the guy. Cool. Uh, Nick, thoughts on the match? I thought it was very good. I thought it was very good, and I thought uh, there was a big – and Cody said it there. He felt really good after those three questions in round two. 
Yeah. Um, and I definitely thought we were going to, but it's just that one key steal that changed it from being like a seven point lead to being tied um, coming out or coming out of Cody's round two, which Jeremy was then able to capitalize on. They each took each other's strengths. Very interesting way that that, that played out. Uh, but overall, I think uh, there are two players who are who are very good who've shown how much they've improved um, and put on a good match today. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go talk to them right now in the post match interviews. Cody, as I said, bold strategy, spinner's choice, taking your opponent's strength. Um, though it was something you've been watching, it was smart. It was a really smart strategy, and it did look like it was going well there for a minute. And then you just shot on what seemed like a 50 50 question, at least to the two of you, and that just swung things back in Jeremy's favor. Uh, at the end of the day, it didn't go your way, but uh, could have been worse. You scored pretty high uh, coming out around two, um, higher than other people, maybe. <laughs> but uh, how are you feeling about the match? Um, I feel fine. Because uh, I knew going into it, I was probably going to lose. Like, me and Bernie didn't really talk about this match. Like, I kind of just took it as a study course. Like, um, I just wanted to see. I got. It's happened back to back matches now that I've hit my stride and I've gotten the first three questions right and the last two questions I've missed both um, on both times. And it was an overconfidence thing. Um, I didn't take time to even like process it at all. I'm just like, yeah, it's the father because, but the father's the last one I see in the movie because they're talking at the end and the mother was the first one. So I didn't give myself enough time to process it. If I would have stopped, I would have probably should have went to multiple if anything, just because I know both were there, but because it was one or the other. Um, but no, I, I felt really good because I've watched all of Criminal Underworld now. Um, and I felt really good, like, of knowing the stuff. So that's what I'm just here to do. I'm here. I'm not here to contend for belts. I'm just hoping not to get knocked out. And I'm hoping to just build each time I'm here. Um, the horror icon, I'm glad. Because I switched it from six to yeah, Halloween okay. ends. So I wasn't going to be anywhere close to the answer. I just couldn't picture that part in my head um but that was at the beginning of the season so i have to really brush up and go back to stuff but no uh jeremy's a really good player um i'm excited he's kind of faction does what factions do um so i'm happy to see him go forward and do whatever he's going to do and i'll be around whenever my time gets called again and i'll still be watching movies and playing and uh, playing along with every match I see and see how bad I would have done. And glad those, thank God those weren't my questions. But um, yeah, and Brittany, new science officer. I just want everybody to know that. So like, I didn't, but she does, and she holds the belt. So that's all that's important to me. So <laughs> fair, Brittany. Thoughts on Cody's performance? Who do you think play next? I thought, it, yeah, it was a bold strategy. But yeah, I thought you did well overall. Um, and I was thinking about this. I don't know how you feel, but um, after the team's contender match, maybe Barr versus Cody be good evenly. I think I like that. I like that pairing. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a jerk face. He's a Benedict Arnold, and I would like to take him and beat him because I'm going to be watching. He's probably not. So, yeah, but it would be fun. I get back to an even record, you know. I don't want to go too yeah. far in the basement where I'm like, Hey, Cody, it's time to retire, um, which would be sad. So let's not do that. So, yeah, I played Bar or Bill even. Great. Sounds good. Cody, congrats on a match well played. We'll see you next time. Jeremy Potter's win number two of the season. You are back in a positive record. Uh, and then some, right? Or am I, I think so, yeah. Up? And then some, yeah. yeah. Jeremy, you're, you're killing it. You're having a great year. So far, I think – I don't want to speak too, too soon, but I think this pretty easily – slots you in for a spot in the summer series tournament um so that's exciting uh you played very well uh Kobe started gaining a bit of momentum and, and you shut that down and, and you took control of the match it was very it was very expertly crafted the way you did what you did um overall you did great you won the match how are you feeling i feel good i mean i didn't really do anything i got lucky he took a shot, you know, on the mother father question. Uh, but that was bold. I respect it, man. Taking by the thing that I want every time because I want it every time. It's gonna be I'm gonna put it up every match. I don't care who I'm playing. I want it every time. It's just and he knows that and he took it. And then I hit something that he probably didn't think I was as strong in as I may be sometimes, depending on the questions. But uh, I, I'll take the win. And I think he still has a winning record. So I don't know why he's acting like he just dropped to like four and nine or some shit. Because I think he's like three and two now. So he can knock it off too. Like, 
with the self-deprecating shit. Flip that. It's two and three, but still close. Yeah, enough. whatever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm, Will, I'm you, happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you think Jeremy did? Oh, you know, I think the score kind of speaks for itself. Jeremy did amazing, which I, I'm absolutely glad, you know, he, he asked me to come and manage him at the last minute. I was happy to do so. And so uh, we did talk strategy. We talked, you know, we looked at the wheel. It's like, there's, there's nothing on this wheel that Jeremy was afraid of, but acing a category that like when I met him, he wasn't strong in at all. And getting that, you know, getting that many points on it shows how Jeremy is improving as a player. And he is just going to keep improving and keep getting scarier and scarier. So just watch out for him. Absolutely. Jeremy, as I said, I do believe this puts you in the summer series tournament. Uh, 16 seed. We haven't officially announced it, but by the time this comes out, we will have officially announced it. Um, okay. I believe that puts you in there. Uh, if I am correct in my math, is there anyone you're hoping to run into in that their tournament? I mean, last time you asked me who I wanted to play, and I said Jack, I'll just say Jack again. I mean, <laughs> does he have a winning record? I really, if, if when you're only doing 16 people, everybody's going to be good. So there's going to be people I don't want to see. Uh, in the first round, at least. I mean, you got to play them. You got to beat the best to be the best. So I'll you can maybe get there at some point. But uh, yeah, I'll play Jack. I just think it'd be fun. We're different. Right. We like different things. Uh, he's kind of fun as long as you don't ask Tim if he's fun, I guess. But, you know, yeah. Tim or Maria, apparently. But Maria's not a big Jack fan. But uh, anyway, with that, Jeremy, congratulations on the win uh, on a match. Well played, and we will see you next time. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. Uh, no, very good game. I thought Cody played great, but Jeremy, I agree. I would love to see him kick Jack's ass. I think that would be very, very fun. Um, also, this just in, uh, Maria uh, has uh, uh, accepted my invitation to be my best friend. So uh, it's uh, going to be very, very fun. Uh, us just hosting the I Hate Jack Pinchuck Club. So uh, if you want to join, we are now taking uh, people uh, and people and uh, uh, to join the club. So come and too. have some fun. So uh, we will see you guys with another match of fandom very soon. Thank you to Cody and Jeremy. Thank you to Will and Brittany. Thank you to Nick for writing. I've been Tim. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, keep the fries warm. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.